Celix just announced that they're allowing their users to accept Nano as payment. And what Celix is, is a storefront where you can sell something and get paid out in crypto or fiat or whatever you want. So it's an all-in-one platform that allows people to list items for sale, get paid, and everything else you need to run an e-commerce web shop. So in this review, we're going to try it out and see what it's like to create a storefront in Celix and accept Nano as payment. So I went ahead and created an account. And when you create an account and you log in, you're first brought to your dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new product. Let's go ahead and title it test. We'll put $1 description test. The product type will be a serial number. And the minimum quantity, we don't need to modify that. Details, you can, I guess, leave it as unlisted or private, on hold, no warranty. And a note to customer, let's just put thank you. So here for cryptocurrency confirmations, since we're using Nano and Nano achieves final finality in just a few seconds, we'll just leave it as zero confirmations. And fraud detection score, I'll leave that as the default, which looks like it's 85. Okay, so I won't add an image for now, but I will select a payment method, which will be Nano. So now that that's all done, let's go ahead and create our product. Product created successfully. All right, so now that we added a test product to our store, the next thing I'm gonna do is go into my settings and add my Nano address so that I can get payouts. So let's go ahead and go to this payments tab under the profile tab. And then once we're in here in this payments tab, when we scroll down, we can see all of the available payment options. We got PayPal and Stripe, Cash App, all the good stuff. But what we're really here for is Nano. So here's where I can enter my Nano address so I can get any payouts from customers checking out. So I'm gonna go into Natrium and copy my Nano address right now. Okay, I got my Nano address and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save it. Perfect, payment settings updated. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go to my storefront and try making a test transaction to see if it works. So I'm going to click on my profile tab again and go to your shop. And we can see this is my storefront so I can share this URL with anyone and when they come to this URL they'll see all the products I have listed and they'll be able to check out with Nano. On the storefront you also have metrics such as products sold that's publicly available to see by everyone and reviews as well. So let's go ahead and try testing our test product and paying with Nano and seeing how it goes. So next thing I'm going to do is click buy now and then for payment method gateway I will choose Nano. It's the only option and then I'll click continue. I'll enter my email address so I can get the invoice or receipt sent to me. Click pay. All right, so $1 currently is 0.18 nano. This transaction will be canceled in 24 minutes if payment is not sent by then. So it's asking me to send 0.18 nano to this address. I'm gonna go ahead and click QR code so I can scan that in the Natrium app. 
Okay, I'm opening Natrium now, and I'm going to click Send in Natrium. I'm going to click Scan QR Code. Scanning the QR code. So it's asking me to send 0.18382353 nano to this address. Uh, but the Natrium app is only going to allow me to enter up to six digits after the decimal. So I'm going to actually enter 0.18382353. And it won't let me enter any more digits after that three. So I'm going to make it to four instead. So I'm sending 0.183824 nano to this address. And even though my transaction, the amount I'm sending is a little different than it's asking me to send because I rounded it up from right here, hopefully it still recognizes that is recognizes it as a legit payment and confirms that the payment has been successful. So in Nature, I'm going to go ahead and click send. Okay, I clicked send and I confirm. And now I'm going to wait to see what happens. All right, so it was paid. Looks like the order is completed. The invoice will be emailed to me. And here is the serial number that I entered, which is the product in this case for this test transaction. But when we were adding the product, there was also an option to add service. So you can sell a service, for example, and you can looks like you can sell any kind of product or service you want through Celix. So I'm really excited about this, and I'm really excited to create an actual storefront that's selling a real product or service. I'm a freelance marketer, so I'm going to add my marketing services to my storefront so people can purchase, for example, a session of marketing, marketing advice or a search engine optimization consultation or keyword research or something like that. Um, so my overall thoughts on Celix are, number one, that I'm really excited for this. It, everything worked almost flawlessly um, which brings me to my next point something I did not love during this process was the user interface meaning it was kind of hard to navigate around in the dashboard and I got a bit confused on how to add a product and how to view my storefront and where to enter my payment settings and all that and I had to click around for a bit um, so I had to stop my video several times to try to figure out where to go within the dashboard and what the next step is to get my storefront up and running. But overall, I would say it was a great experience and I recommend that anyone watching this, if you have anything to sell, whether it's a product or a service or whatever it might be, I really recommend trying out Celix and making a storefront on it and enabling Nano as a payment option, of course. Um, this is basically like Shopify for crypto and I think the Nano community can uh, really help Celix get off the ground and prove how powerful these our fee-less transactions can be. So that's why I'm really excited about this. And the last thing I want to say is that it's free to use. So Celix basic, basic plan starts at $0. So there's no risk in trying it out and listing something for sale. And if you start a successful web shop, and you're making a profit, you can upgrade for even more features. All right, hope you enjoyed this review, and please let me know what other reviews you want to see, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.